job. Uh, well, Cassandra's <laughs> with me. That's not how you break the law. Yeah, yeah, you're totally right there, Cassandra. You can ask questions as well. Okay. Um. Uh, he says, no, no. Uh, in fact, I have uh, very great respect for... Sorry, what's Cassandra's uncle's name again? Uh, Virgil. Virgil Rudder. Rudder. Right. Virgil. I have great respect for Virgil, and I'm afraid you're going to come and we're going to have a long talk with Virgil. Uh, she's sort of snibbling and says, uh, all right. Right. Uh, Gorgon helps her out and uh, makes sure that she walks back. He keeps his hand on his sap just in case, but uh, doesn't draw it. All right. So you return to the mill and uh, go and get Virgil. You say that you have something to speak of in private, and he takes you to a uh, sort of like a storeroom where they keep extra parts and different things. Um, Things before, uh, before you we talk. get all the way back, Gorgon says to Cassandra, he says, you are very sharp. I wouldn't have noticed that. My eyesight has become my better sense lately. All he, I had to lose was my mind. That's an odd statement, but, in, you know, he's having a hard enough time coping with a new society anyway, so he nods. Yeah, her intelligence and wisdom isn't that high, so she's not going to, like, be dropping profound knowledge. <laughs> Eyes are for looking. So, you return to the, to the mill, and, uh, like I said, <clears throat> Virgil takes you to a, uh, to a storeroom, and, uh, he seems a little bit, uh, frustrated that you, you, you have... You two have seemed to have like apprehended this girl, and she's upset. And he says, "What's the meaning of this?" Uh, Uncle, Gorgon, she, uh, yeah. Or do you want to go ahead? No, no. I'm a I'm a guest at this house. You should go first. Okay, it might sound better coming from me, anyways. She pushed. Uh, what was the girl's name that fell into the machine? Karenna. Karenna. Uh, that was the blonde girl. Right. So I'm gonna point at the girl that we brought back to him and say, she pushed Karenna into the machine. I saw her. She goes, I didn't push her. What would you call it then? She simply tripped over accident. Uh, that's not what you told us earlier. Uh, well, not completely an accident. I did put my foot out. Uh, no. Uh, the girl is very upset. Gorgon says, tell him what you told us. So she recounts the, the uh, story. And, uh, the girl seems quite disturbed. and says, I never liked that, Henry. And it seems like he's up to worse things than I had expected. But why would he want this young girl harmed? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, can I do a knowledge local to see if I know if there's any sort of, like, history between the two? Uh, yeah, you can go ahead. Ready for this kick-ass roll, guys? What? Oh, 18. Pretty good. The only thing that you know of is that recently, uh, the, um... Karenna uh, was a witness to a crime. Apparently she saw the murderer <clears throat> leave uh, the Clifton's home. Conspiracy. Oh. So, so you've heard. Uh, I'll look at the girl and say, are you sure that he's not trying to shut you up? Trying to get you out of the city? She looks to you sort of perplexed and says, but, but I, I won't want to leave. Now, the girl that was injured is the one who witnessed, just to clarify. Karenna is the girl who witnessed the crime. Right, and okay. of course, the one who witnessed Lord Damry leave the house. Yes. 
witness Sir Gamry uh, leave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. The plot so. thickens. <clears throat> I'm going to look at the girl and say, why would he choose you to do it? He, he knows I'll do just about anything for the coin. <laughs> I'm a whore! <laughs> I like how Russell, like, with the lone <laughs> laugh. <laughs> um... Gorgon shakes his head and goes, uh, This is very new to me. Um, <clears throat> he looks at... Um, looks at Virgil and says, is Virgil? Is that yeah. right? Yeah. He looks at Virgil and says, this is your house. How do, does one normally handle such a thing? Well, we would probably take the matter to the magistrate, I suppose, or more well, generally one of the thief takers, but since it's him, one of them, who seems to be the culprit here, I'm not certain how to proceed. Perhaps we should involve the magistrate. It's simple. We'll act as if the job has been done, like the girl fell in and was killed. We'll get this one here to go and meet up with him to get her payment. When he does, we'll capture him and bring him to the magistrate. Hmm. That is quite the plan. It sounds da dangerous, but perhaps it might be best. So. Uh, Gorgon says, uh, "Yes, yeah, sounds sounds reasonable, especially if you have that much corruption in your own government. We hobgoblins have been trying to deal with our own issues with corruption, so uh, I can see this as a worthwhile worthwhile uh, venture." All righty. <clears throat> no, no, I'm ju just going to take a. Momentary break here. I'll be right back. I also will be RP. Okay. It's gonna be so funny when Yang just fucking arrives. Like, so uh, guys, I found the boar thief, and everybody's like, "Oh, there he is. <laughs> There's Lord Gamry. Thanks, kind stranger." Should probably go and switch laundry while he's doing this. Should we try oh, a new sure. call? Cause like I can't get Beard back in here. You can't. Um, I can. I would say sure, but we may need to wait until everyone else is back. I wait for no man. You just have to go on his profile thing and uh, press. Um, the plus button icon thing on the top right. Yeah, I, I know how to invite him, but it's uh, it's failing. We can't get him back in for some reason right now. Mm. It's just like the person you have tried to contact is now Chinese. <laughs> Are you sure you want them in your call? Okay, that's weird. <clears throat> he just went offline, so. Oh, oh, okay. I still see him as online. Oh yeah, it does too. That's weird. Uh, so I guess I'll rehost now that Benzel's back. Yeah, maybe we should try hosting a yeah, call. Sure. Sure. Okay, so they both failed because I tried calling the group and Wade and Beard doesn't work, so I'll just do it individually again. All the important people are here. Oh, uh, okay. The fuck? God damn, this guy's slow. 
It's slow in French. Hello. 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 All right. Hello. Hello. I think I'm missing Luke. Uh, Luke is changing his laundry, so he might not answer. Oh, uh, okay. No, that's good. Oh, I Hello. think he answered. I don't think we need him anyway. Like. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I changed I have my a new character BFF to, to Taiwan because I I think the Hong Kong thing is having some problems. We'll see. Okay, dokie. Oh, All right, man. just another moment, and we'll be ready to go. Just as long as we don't use Taiwan gas yeah. lines. So also, what did I miss? You found out that Karena was paid. Did it, did anything else happen? Yes, he found. Uh, Karena was paid did, to push that woman into. No, the no, machine. Karena was the. Oh, Karena, Karena was, was the, the one victim. who fell into the machine. Oh, we'll call. So, uh, she was the witness to uh, Lord Gamry entering the uh, the supposed murder house. And she was put oh, up to it by, um, I think, Henry, one of the, what are they called, thief takers? Yeah. Yeah, Hen Henry Oliver's, Oliver's son paid, not Karenna, this other girl, to put... To push her into uh, a machine, because she is the witness of that crime. Also, Russell, <clears throat> uh, it might not have been apparent, but... Uh, Henry was the one who was uh, sort of foremost in wanting to put you to death immediately. See, I think it's a conspiracy. It's probably a banker. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so. <clears throat> Hashtag wa Washington. You... Yeah. Passing through Dunford, when you hear there was a murder, despite hearing, <clears throat> also hearing that the murderer was caught and executed, you thought you'd have a look around to give your skills your grandfather taught you some practice. Where would you like to start? Uh, it's my turn. Where um, do I know any? details of where the murder is. I guess I'll do a knowledge local to see if I can find my way around here. Okay. God damn it. Well, despite not getting a very high roll, uh, <clears throat> you think that their home, home would be a great place to start? Uh, yeah. Mm, okay. Um... So yeah, the home of the where the crime went took place. Definitely, I'll go. Yep. I'll go there. Scene of the crime. So you make your way to the outskirts of the of Dunford. Uh, you enter the Clifton home. It is a simple house here. Uh, actually, I have some. This. It is a simple house with sparse furnishings. Um, I take a look around. Uh, it has a stone floor with wooden walls. Immediately inside is the kitchen. There is a pool of blood on on the ground and some drag marks where the bodies must have been pulled from the house. Is all the blood in one area? Like, does it look like there was a, um, uh, a struggle uh, or a fight? Appears, yes, it does appear like there was a struggle. There is, there is one large pool of blood, but there is blood... Uh, all over the place, indicating a struggle. Are there any Perhaps. holes? Are there any holes in the wall from guns or bolts, arrows? Are there any marks? Why don't you? Swords? Why don't you throw down a perception check? No, why don't you just tell me? Oh, fourteen. Okay. <clears throat> So you notice that there are some footprints. You notice that there are that there is uh, a, a pile of ash on the ground in front of the fireplace, and you notice that there are some ropes uh, in the corner near the wall. Um, do the footprints look like they belong to some kind of a bipedal ape with five uh, four toes and definitely. They're definitely human footprint. Well, from Bigfoot humanoid. Did. They don't look like Bigfoot. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, 
one set of prints or multiple, like footprints? 